The discovery of antibiotics, the most important type of antimicrobial drugs, has resulted in improved health and treatment outcomes for people and prolonged life expectancies in animals and also in plants to a smaller degree. It has led to improved treatments for diseases, resulting in improved health and increased agricultural productivity. Recently, however, the benefits of these drugs have begun to be challenged by antimicrobial resistance. We have found resistance to most commonly used antibiotics. And that's again an indication that uh, the drugs that we have been using uh, are becoming vulnerable. A number of infections can no longer be treated. Uh, they don't respond um, and the, the choices that are left uh, of the antimicrobials that are still useful becomes narrow and they become more expensive because to research on new products is a very expensive venture. Antimicrobial resistance, AMR, occurs when the drug used to treat a disease in animals or humans no longer works because the microbes, small organisms like bacteria that have caused the disease have developed a resistance to that drug. Livestock, including fish, are also affected if diseases cannot be treated. The microbes can become resistant in an animal and can also be transferred from animals to infect humans and vice versa. These bacteria are also present in the environment and can spread through contaminated food. Drug resistance means that diseases take longer to treat and are more severe, causing reduced productivity and loss of income and this results in food insecurity. In some cases, diseases may not be treatable, leading to death. Today, up to 700,000 people a year are dying worldwide from AMR-related causes. By 2050, the number of deaths could increase to more than 10 million per year. The cost to the global economies will be more than 100 trillion US dollars which will be about 50 times the expected economic output of sub-Saharan Africa. AMR can easily be passed from one country to another and therefore it is a global issue that requires a well-coordinated global response. Antimicrobial resistance is a, a real threat uh, to Zimbabwe, uh, both uh, for human health uh, but also for agriculture, particularly for livestock production. So we are working very closely uh, with uh, the World Health Organization and OIE in a tripartite uh, agreement to support uh, the Ministry of Agriculture as well as the Ministry uh, of Health and Child Care in trying to reduce the effects uh, of AMR. Generally, the more antimicrobial drugs are used, the more resistance develops to the drugs. This trend will continue to grow as world population increases and we use more antimicrobial drugs in human and animal health. But there are simple things that we can do to reduce the growth of drug resistance. Always use the right drug for the right disease or infection. Only use antimicrobial drugs that are prescribed by a qualified person. Always finish the course of treatment. Follow good animal production, health and hygiene practices. Drugs do not compensate for poor practices. We need to take action now to stop resistance to antibiotic drugs from increasing and spreading. Use it responsibly or lose it.